Okay, thank you very much. We're gathered. With his allies backing him up, the president used a familiar strategy to get out of his latest crisis. Donald Trump shrugged off his comments. Now, I was asking a question sarcastically to reporters like you just to see what would happen. It absolutely did not seem like a joke when on live TV, Trump asked a top official to look at whether UV rays or disinfectant can be inserted into bodies as COVID-19 treatments. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside? A doctor on Trump's task force missed the apparent joke, cringing as he went on. Almost a cleaning... The maker of Lysol saw it necessary to put out a statement. Under no circumstance should our disinfectant products be administered into the human body. So many people are listening to him. We are the epic Trump's statements are not surprising to some who point out he's made dangerous claims before. Unfortunately, the missteps, the incompetence, uh, the denial of science have led to the United States having the worst epidemic worldwide. Trump has encouraged anti-stay-at-home protests, which mostly have not followed physical distancing rules. He also promoted an anti-malaria drug without facts to back his claims. Based on what I see, it could be a game changer. The FDA says it's not a game changer, issuing a warning today about its potentially deadly side effects. The top doctors on Trump's task force, who bring credibility to the team, did not go to his daily briefing. He stuck mostly to his script, uncharacteristically ignoring reporters, bringing a fast end to his difficult day. After Thursday's performance, the White House is rethinking whether Trump needs to appear at these briefings. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.